Hello guys, and welcome back to part 2. Let's go into the render properties and enable ambient occlusion and screen space refractions. In the world tab, select environment texture and load any HDRI map for a basic lighting information, or you can download the one I was using. You can find the link down in the description. Set film to transparent and increase the environment strength to 1.5. We are going to create one basic material and then copying it to all the other parts. So select the material and name it to base. Press A, then Ctrl L, and select Link Materials. Choose a color, and set Specular to 0.3, Sheen Tint to 0. Shift A, and add a glossy node, and a mix shader node. Select some dark yellow color to make the shader interesting. Select a different part, and press on new material, name it differently. This is how we will create some new color variants. By duplicating the base material. Select another part, and press on new material again. Name it to something else. For the barrel we are going to do the same, but call it a metal shader, and set metalness to 1. In the Material Editor tab click on the plus button, and select one of the color variants. Now go into Edit Mode, select the faces you want to recolor, and press Assign. You can add as many colors as you want.
Continue by adding different colors to the rest of the gun. Select the face loop and press Ctrl Numpad Plus to expand your selection, then assign a different material. For the middle part, I will split up the mesh with a horizontal cut, and add a darker color to the bottom part. Make sure that you select all the faces. The workflow is the same, so I will speed up the video a bit. I find the scope a bit too thick, so I select it. Press numpad slash for isolation mode, and with control numpad plus, expand your selection, to grab all the inner faces. Press S for scaling, and then shift Y, to only scale along the Z and X axis. Adjust the lenses the same way. For the lens material, you can go really wild, play with the values and settings until you get the result you want. For the stock, I applied the metal shader to the buttock, and created a wood material for the rest. Sometimes you have to add a support loop to make sure that the subbed modifier is not pulling your faces. Create a new material and name it wood. In Edit, Preferences, enable the Node Wrangler add-on. Then press Ctrl T on the principled shader.
Open the gradient color map. I provided a link, down in the description. In the left orthographic view, go into edit mode, select all the faces, then press U, and select project from view. In UV editing tab you can now grab the faces to the color you want. Back in the shader editor, add a mix RGB node, and set it to multiply. Add another wave texture, and a musgrave texture. Set the values like this. I decided to make it a little more vibrant. Now we can set the render engine to cycles for more realistic looking. Then I made some changes for the glass material. If you want, you can decrease the viewport samples, and enable denoising. I set the render samples to 1024 and enabled the freestyle with 0.5 pixels. You can also change the look, to get more contrasty look. Let's add our camera with Shift A, and go into Camera View with Numpad 0. Press N, and enable Camera to View, so you can move it more easily.
I like to set the focal length to 75 millimeters. Now, let's create the sticker. Add a new plane, and in the shader editor create a new material, name it to sticker. Click on the principled BSDF and press Ctrl T. Open any picture you want, with a transparent background. You can find Planty on Google. Grab Alpha Channel to the other Alpha Channel. In Material menu, set Blend Mode to Alpha Blend. Rotate your picture, and set it the way you want. In edit mode, Subdivide the plane a few times to get more topology. Set it to shade smooth, and delete some faces we don't need. Let's add a shrink wrap modifier and pick the target. Now it sticks to the surface nicely, you just have to increase the offset just a tiny bit. You can make it shiny or matte. Select the sticker, press M and create another collection for it. In View Layer Properties, find for Freestyle Collection, enable it, select the sticker collection, and set it to Exclusive. This will make sure that we don't get the plane's outline when rendering. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one.